welcome to just another dang how to channel on this tutorial we're going to cover about the new feature about on how to use the salesforce ul hack for auto populating fields when you create a new record so let's do a quick recap on how you do it on classic so i'm on the classic ui um if i go to a related list here like new contact if i click on that uh, you would see some of the fields here are auto populated by Salesforce by default, or based on the because it's a standard object, uh, account and contact. But some fields, if you want to auto populate them, like title or additional mobile here or description, you would need to create a custom button and target specific elements on the field to auto populate it. So I have here a custom button, you're just using some URL hack. You pass this extra parameters on the bottom so that it gets auto populated. So I'm passing heritage account under the description here and con5, which is the corresponding ID for the title here as attorney. So let's cancel that. Quick look at the bottom. This is how it looks like. So let's jump into Lightning. So on Lightning, if I go to an account, G point let's close this and you would see that there's a new contact here which is like a quick action it only has the minimum fields and it's not auto populated so before we jump to the URL hack let's do a quick action first so let's go to the account and button links for now let's do a action so create a record, um, I want to say I want to create a new contact and let's say create contact next and just save. And here it asks you for bare minimum fields. So you have limited fields as well. So let's just click the default for now. Um, make sure you add it to your layout, go to your layout and then mobile and lightning actions um, drop it in there save go back to your record and click on that button you would see no fields are populated so on quick action you could pass extra parameters so let's go back here and contact lex and so on predefined field values you could do that so you could specify this and i say want to populate the phone field and prompts you with a formula use this you could target labels or accounts or all the special org uh, objects so i just want to target the phone insert and then save i'm also going to do one more I'm going to target the title and this time I'm going to use the label and save. So if we go back and refresh, click on that, you would see that the phone is populated, the title is populated. So that's how you do it on quick action. But let's see what's new on the URL hack. So now you could click on new button or link and say create contact URL hack. I'm gonna put it on the detail page and you have this very special syntax. So first is you have lightning and O, this means the object and the object name. You say new and default field values. And from here, you could add, pass extra parameters. So we could say account ID. You could still use this insert field to do the merge and say um, phone. And comma, separate it. And then let's say, uh, make sure you have equals here. And then, see title 
And this time, instead of using custom labels, or I could directly say the value that I want it default from here and save. And remember to add it to your page layout. And URL hack, drop it in there, save. And go refresh. And click on create URL hack. Oh, that was strange. It redirected somehow, so let's try that again. Let me check that we have that button correctly configured. So lightning contact new question mark default field values account ID. Yep, that looks right. Let's try that again. Maybe you got uh, accounts. Click that button. There you go. So the phone number is populated, the account name is populated, and the title is populated. So that's a new feature for Spring 20. Uh, hope you like this tip. Uh, for more, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. Um, bye for now.